Okay, today we're going to be looking at skinning our cat. This is a quick video I hope that will show us how to uh, unbag our cats and then also um, pull their skin off. So, let's see how this works. We're going to try to play the video at the same time as recording. So, it looks a little sketchy. You can see I'm right now working on undoing the bag. Let's fast forward some of this. Alright, speeding things up. Here we go. Pulling the cat. One thing I want to note, this bag that's on the outside, you do want to keep this bag. Do not throw this bag away. I'll say this numerous times in class. We also don't want to get any holes on this bag. We're going to write our name on the outside with a permanent sharpie. Um, this is the bag that you're going to keep the entire time of this dissection. So do not throw this bag away. Make sure we keep it. All right. The inner bag, on the other hand, we can go ahead and get rid of this one. So you can notice the gender of your cat is uh, labeled on that bag, male or female. We're going to cut the end off the bag here at the end. There we go. Cut that out. There's going to be a little bit of fluid. This is all preservative fluid that your cat has, uh, keeping it kind of moist so that we have no um, mold or anything else gross growing on it. We're going to just throw that bag away. And now we can take a look at the cat. Um, one thing you might notice, I'm trying to show you here, you'll notice there is a, a little a piece of foam in the mouth. Let's keep the foam in the mouth. That's what's going to keep the teeth of the cat from catching on our bag and tearing it. So leave the foam in the mouth. You will notice also that down here there is a hole in the throat. That's where they drain the blood out of the cat. It's also how they were able to pump the preservative back into the kitty cat. Um, to kind of get it through all of the blood vessels and stuff to make sure the cat doesn't start to decompose on us here, okay? So kind of important, but notice a couple things there. Uh, let's get this thing to play again. All right, yeah, you can see the little hole there in the throat, okay? All the cats have it. Your cat wasn't, like, injured or something. That's, that's again, how they drained it of its fluid, okay? All right, so first order of business is to remove the tail, and that's what this bone saw is showing. I will remove the tail for you if you'd like, or you can cut it off yourself. It just gets in the way. We're not studying any tail muscles. So once the tail is off, you'll put that in the dissection waste bin. Bone saw will be off to the side. Going through here really quickly. Okay, so I'm kind of going through some of the tools that you can see here. Uh, let's go over them really quickly here. So we see here we have the scissors. Going to be super important. I have a scalpel right there. Very nice. And this is the most important tool that you'll be using during most of the dissections right here is our blunt probe or maul probe. Uh, for the dissection of your kitty cat, you're mainly going to use your scissors and most importantly, your finger, okay, your index finger or your thumb or whatever. You're going to be using your fingers a lot to peel the skin off this kitty. All right, so let's get through this cat. I'll again put it on double time speed. You're going to find an incision point right behind, between the ears. See the ears right where we're going to go. I'm going to uh, get a spot where I can kind of use either scissors or scalpel and make that first incision. Now you can see I'm making the incision and let's pause. You can see there's actually a hole you don't want to cut too deep and you're actually going to see me use my finger as a guide for this. I'll get my finger in there so I'm going to use this blunt probe a little bit to kind of free things up and eventually I'll get my actual finger into there and that's going to be my main guide as I go through here. Okay, so it's getting more and more open. I'm going to use the scissors and we're just going to go down Okay, spreading it further apart, and now I'm using the finger to get underneath the skin. Okay, the finger won't tear muscle, but it will separate the skin from everything else. So let's speed this process up. All right, we're going to work our way down all the way to the base of the tail, to kind of doing a re repetitive motion. You see, I'm kind of pulling, get, using my thumbs to kind of push down all the connective tissue, and we're just kind of working our way down the back. We don't want to hit the muscle underneath, so keep it shallow. Okay, keep it shallow. Here we go. We're going to keep going further and further back. Kind of looks like something from an alien movie. There we go. Keep going. I'm going to speed it up. Ooh, times four. Here we go. So this cat is literally being skinned in four times speed. Going quickly, going quickly. Just going to go all the way to the base of the tail. Okay. So as we do this, notice I'm now freeing up all this stuff on the side. You're going to notice there's nerves, there's blood vessels. You can kind of break through them all with your fingers. Again, your hand is the most important part here of this dissection. Okay. I'm going to go on both sides. An important thing I don't want to see you do is reaching underneath the cat. Do not reach under the cat. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, reach your hand under its skin. 
to its chest. You'll tear muscles that we're going to dissect later. So right now I'm just kind of freeing it off the arms, freeing it on the side, getting this nice and wide open. And next what we're going to do is start taking a look at the arms. We're going to now peel the skin down the arms. Let's get it back up to four times speed. Okay, it's all freed up. Okay, now I'm showing you where I'm going to go. I'm going to go down the arm to the wrist. Again, freeing up, same process that we did on the back. Okay. All right, we're freeing it all up on the arm, making sure we're really careful not to pull any muscles. I've gone through it. We're going to go all the way to the wrist. And once we've done that, we're actually going to then take the scissors and cut around the wrist, leaving fur just on the paw, just on the paw. All right, and now it's off the wrist. Okay, we're going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Might need to flip it to get a better angle, my hands. Okay, cut all the way down to the wrist. Okay, you don't need to go to the fingers or anything like that of the cat. Just get kind of down to its wrist. I'll probably, there we go, my screen. Notice again what tool I have not used is the scalpel. Leave the scalpel alone. We're not, that's really a kind of a scary tool to use. We don't need to use the scalpel that often. I will notice one thing just to warn you guys about. You might see during your dissection, it kind of freaks people out. You might see um, muscles here on the wall of the skin, okay? There might be some muscle that you'll see on the skin. That is not the same as the skeletal muscles we're looking at. The cats have um, muscles that help raise the hair on their neck and stuff, the hair on their back. We don't care about those. They're very superficial. Yes, they're striated. You can actually see the fascicles, but don't worry about tearing those muscles. You're going to have to do that anyway. All right. Um, towards the end here, we're going to go now go down to the lower legs. Let's speed this up again. Doing the exact same procedure I did on the arms. Going to go all the way down to the ankle. Okay. Let's go to eight times speed. Let's go quickly. Here we go. All right. Peeling the skin down, going all the way down to the ankle. Okay. And go down to the other side, all the way down to the ankle. Now, we're not going to necessarily free it up just yet. I'm actually going to let you guys pull that skin off in a couple weeks when we're down in the leg region. Right now, there's no reason to pull it off completely. We'll just have it really well freed up, and that's about it. Okay, so the next part here of the video is where I'm going to now go from the neck, right where I started my incision, and go down to that opening on the throat. So you can kind of see where we're heading here. I'm kind of freeing up. I'm going to go all the way down to the throat. I'm using my thumb again to do this. So do you see where I'm starting here? Let's see if we can show you kind of where this incision was. Over here is where I started my incision and went all the way down the back. What we're going to do is now make an incision this direction and another incision that direction and connect around the head to this little hole that's on the other side of the throat, okay? Let's see how this looks. Fantastic, again, using the thumbs. All right, I think this is where this video ends, so let's All right, I, didn't, I don't think I realized that the video had cut off, so here I'm just going to show you how we got the skin off the neck. You kind of see how it was wrapped earlier. With then at this stage, after you have gotten the skin off the arms, down the legs, around the neck, to the throat, we're now going to get the cat ready to be kind of, we're going to peel the skin down the chest. Let's go kind of double speed here. Pulling the skin, using my hands, and we're just going to kind of, it's as gross as it sounds, almost like you're peeling a banana. It's going to kind of grab onto it and pull the skin down, pulling the skin down. Okay, you can kind of see how we're doing this. Again, it's super jumpy here. I don't know if this computer actually can handle playing a movie while it's recording one. I have to try to troubleshoot this here on the next video. So pulling down, pulling down. You end up going to pull the skin all the way down to the crotch. Now, again, to the groin. Don't worry about the... Um, Muscle that you're going to kind of start tearing a little bit of muscles here along the ribs. Again, a lot of these are superficial, nothing that we're worried about. Okay, if you have a cat that has a lot of fat, you're going to see lots of stuff obscuring your view. Once we get the fur down kind of to the groin, we're just going to leave it there. That's totally fine. That whole kind of 